Yo, you Nation, are you looking for a little bit more security or something to uh, alert you, let you know when you have those uh, unexpected guests or, you know, worry about you know, animals getting in and out of a pen? Then you might want to stay tuned and check out this motion sensor I got from a company called HitSafe. All right? Yo, Skippy, roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy, Mark from Loose Cruising Views, back again another video. But you know how we do before we get started. Let's get all that business and politics out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe. All right, now that we got all that business and politics out of the way, let's get to the video. Yo, your nation, it's your main man, Mark, back again another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at a solar wireless motion sensor slash detector from a company called HitSafe, all right? Before we get started, let's get a few things out of the way. One, I'm not an expert. Two, I'm just a guy with little technical gadgets. And three, I just like showcase new products again like this on the channel, all right? All right. So, speak to these. Look me up down in the comment section, all right? And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. It really helps, all right? Not an expert. All right. Let's get this out. Let's get this uh, video rolling. Today, we're going to be looking at this. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this driveway alarm. It's basically a solar wireless motion sensor slash detector with a, pro uh, with a uh, portable a receiver, you know, to let to let you know what's going on. Let me uh, tell you a few uh, specs on here. Uh, let's see here. It's solar power. It has a half a mile range. Let's see what else we got on here. It has a 70 foot long detection range with three adjustable sensitivities from 25 foot to 70 foot. All right. It has 35 different chimes and it has uh, five volume levels. All right. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know, and it alerts you anytime uh, others enter your property. That's basically what it's saying on, on the uh, website. So basically, if this is something like you can sit, you know, you know, somewhere around your driveway, so you have those uh, unannounced guests popping up over or what have you, this is an alarm. You let you know, you know, somebody's uh, uh, coming on your property. But it doesn't have any kind of app or anything like that. So basically, it's just for when you're at home. So when you're at home. And you hear that chime going off, then it alerts you. But it's nothing. There's no app. It's uh, not you know connected to Wi-Fi, nothing like that. So basically, you know, you only time you're going to be able to really take advantage of it here. This is while you're home. So this, I mean, this will come in handy. Say you laying down, taking a nap, and you weren't expecting somebody. This you know this will go off and let you know somebody's coming. But uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got in the box. Because there's nothing else on the box. It's a plain box, All right? Get this open. As you can see here, uh, let's see. We got this receiver. We're gonna put this. We got the sensor stuff. We're gonna put that to the side. Let's see here. We have the. Uh, we have the receiver right there. And let's see here. We have this, um, not sure what this is. Oh, okay, this is uh, the mount. I don't know if you uh, can see this. All right, let's see. You got some screws and all that good stuff. So you can take advantage of it, you know. You can go ahead and mount it. And you got directions and all that good stuff. But you probably don't want to say the directions, not sure. But I'm gonna get to, for right now, I'm just gonna get all this junk out of the way. So we can uh, go ahead and check it out. Let's see. So, you know, you, like I said, you can mount it to a tree or whatever you want to mount it. But let's get to the start of the show right here. And this looks like a little mushroom to me. But uh, and I already have it set up because I've been playing around with it before the video. It's pretty it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. As, as you see right here, well, let me get a different angle. Uh, I'll stay at this angle. Uh, you have your, um, let's see, you have your power switch right here. And you know these little lights on the side, and then this is a, let you let you play the different tones, and uh, this is to sync it with the, uh, the sensor itself. And as you see here, you have uh, this is the back of the sensor. This is basically where you go ahead and plug in your uh, your power cord. I don't know what I did. Uh, oh, I put it on the other side, the power cord. So this is kind of to keep it uh, waterproof right here. And then this is the power button, so you can turn it on. Also, you, you can sync it. And here's the front, the little solar lens right there. And these are your uh, solar panels right here. All right? Too easy, too easy, too simple. All right? So, 
let's go ahead and uh, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I think I turned it off yet. That's pretty loud. Plant store. Hey, you see that? Cause it was, when it was like when I rub like this. Plant store. That's too cool. That's too cool. Let's see here. Plant store. Wow. Yeah, make sure you put this in the spot where you really want it, cause it, it, it traffic going by, it's gonna keep uh, it's gonna keep uh, going off like this. So let's go. Let's go. Let me let you see this a little bit up close. All right. Let's see. We get you up close right here. All right. You have uh, just a little speaker back here, and you know it's plugged directly into the wall. And that's a good thing, so you ain't got to worry about cords or anything like that. But uh, other than that, you know, just too simple. Let's go ahead and um, check out some of the, uh, the the different chimes on here. All right. We had one said driveway. Backyard. Backyard. I don't know if you heard that. Garage. I guess I should turn it around so you can see the lights when they go off. <laughs> That's crazy, somebody horn. <laughs> That'd be perfect for the driveway. Yeah, excuse the noise. My office is right on the main road. There's these people with these loud vehicles. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, that's different. That's cool. That sounds like a song. I done lost count. That's a, that's a lot of a uh, lot of sounds already. That's too cool. That's annoying one there. Oh no, that one is annoying. Okay, now that's a simple one. Then you know somebody's ringing the doorbell. I think I'm gonna keep it on that one that says driveway. So let's let's check this out. I'm gonna move these out of the way because we're not using them right now. So basically, what I'm gonna do is uh, driveway. Well, <laughs> it's testing itself. So, like I say, somebody's uh, somebody's coming up, you know, walking up to your driveway, going walking on through. Driveway. Let you know somebody's coming. That's too cool or too simple. Now, I'm not sure what, what the battery life is or, or how long. Driveway. Uh, I'm going to cut this bad boy off because it'll keep going off like that. But uh, you can see it'll light up uh, uh, once when somebody's going going past, it'll, it'll light up. But um, yeah, you know, the solar power, the solar panels on here are supposed to keep it charged up and what have you. 
like I say, you know, I'm probably gonna come back and do a, uh, an update video, you know, to tell you uh, how long everything lasts. But I just wanted to get out of the box and uh, check it out. None of this stuff comes off. Uh, no, nothing comes off. And this basically looks like a little little house, you know. You can put it out, you know, mount it outside. Let me see where the screws are. Uh, yeah, so you would, you know, put it on here. Let's see here. You got okay. You got two different mounts. So yeah, you put the mount on it on, on like so. All right. Let's see if we can get you uh, up here. So you can um, put it on like this, and then this one goes on top. And then you know you bolt this one on to uh, wherever you want to bolt it on, whether the tree or uh, wherever you want to mount it, wherever you want to mount it to your house, or wherever you want to mount it is up to you once you get it. But this is pretty. It's a, it's a simple and too easy to use. It's, I mean, you know, do you need it? Maybe not, but I mean, it's, it's cool to have, you know, so, you know, you, you know, you're around the house and you're not expecting anybody and all of a sudden people show up at the house. It's going to give you an alarm that you know something, something's going on, somebody's coming on your property. So if you're interested in something like this, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below where you get more information on it. Like I say, I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular everyday person. It's like you get new tech like this, new gadget like this, you know, to show off on the channel, you know. So and maybe some of you guys or girls might want to get something for yourself. But uh, yeah, basically it's just um, you know, a solar powered uh, motion sensor. And the good thing I like about this, you know, this one is that you know it just goes plugs into the wall. You don't got to worry about cores and charging it up. Now this one you want to make sure you fully charge it. I'm not mistaken. It it takes four hours from a uh, totally dead. It takes four hours to charge this bad boy up. So once you get it charged up. I'm thinking that as far as the, the uh, solar part over here, the little trickle charge, you know, so you know, keep it topped off. You shouldn't have to worry about as long as you get in a uh, nice sunny uh, area. And if you have it in a cloud, cloudy area, or somewhat shaded area, you might end up having to go out here and recharge it from time to time. But other than that, I mean, and I think it comes in different colors. Let me double check to see what colors it comes in. Or uh, let's see here, let's see what colors it comes in. Uh, let's see. Okay, you got a. Um, let's see here. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong thing. You got uh, this one that comes with. You got. You can either get it with the chime together as a package, or you can just get this by itself. And then you can order some of these uh, by itself. Let's see here. Yeah, you know, all of them are going to be the same color. There's diff no different colors. So I was wrong. I thought it was different colors, but no, it's, it's all the same color. So. You no, know, that's not bad. That's not bad. So, but I'm gonna leave a link down in the description in the description box below where you get more information. Now, like I say, this is you know, you know, this would be perfect like for somebody on the farm and they want to put this, you know, to see if any of the animals get out or whatever. You know, you know, you know, give them an alert. Oh man, I gotta go out there because the fence was open. I gotta go in. You know, so one of the animals got out. You know, this this would be a perfect thing to to uh, to uh, alert you. But like I say, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below where you get more information on this. Uh, so wireless motion sensor from HitSafe, all right? If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to notify new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell that friend, tell a friend to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, every subscriber, it really helps the channel and I appreciate you guys and girls taking that time out of your day to check out the video. Uh, let's see, this is about the shortest video I did, I think. But uh, like I always say, treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people better than you want to be treated, all right? All right, before we get to the message today, we're, we're trying to, we're testing something out, uh, the Mevo, uh, let's see, what is this, the Mevo, the Mevo camera, so if you notice anything different with the video, it's because of uh, the new camera setup we, we have right here, it's called the, uh, the Mevo, the Logitech Mevo Start, all right, so, you know, I know, you know, I'm just, you know, we, we, the video was about this right here, but I just want to let you guys know if you wanted something different uh, with the video. That was me trying to click the, the different uh, different scenes and stuff like that. It's supposed to help out. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have a video uh, coming on that soon. Uh, so, you know, after we get done testing this uh, new video system out in the studio. But let's get back to the message for the day. The message for the day is, hmm, don't be a gossiper. Let me, let me see. I'm, I'm messing up the angles already. Don't be a gossiper, and don't uh, don't be worried about what what everybody else does. Cause you know, you know, it's a lot of people. A lot of times, people are all you know, people are there talking about oh, so and so and them got this, so and so and them work here, and they did make this. And 
Stop worrying about how much money somebody make or what job they got or what they do or whatever. Because the more energy you spend worried about what everybody else is doing and what they do and what they got and what they have, that's precious time and energy you can't get back that you can be putting into your life to make you successful, right? So stop worrying about what everybody's doing. Stop sitting around gossiping. Oh, so and so them got they they work this and they work that and they get to make this amount of money. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Put that energy into making you know making you, yourself successful. All right? That's the message for today. This is your main man, Mark for Loose Cool Reviews. Drop the mic. And I'm out. Peace. Ding dong, ding dong.